Hi, this is Crivelly again with another fountain pen review. Um, today I have a Twisby pen uh, with me. Uh, and the Twisby pen that I wanted to talk about today um, is the Twisby Eco or Twisby Echo uh, that is made in Taiwan, um, which is a piston filling fountain pen. Interestingly enough, today is, a fr is Friday. And um, I got my Twispy Eco from uh, Applebone Pennen, used in uh, Applebone Pennen in uh, the Netherlands. And uh, Applebone Pennen has recently introduced something on uh, Instagram uh, under the hashtag uh, Free Fountain Pen Friday. Um, you can post your favorite pen, um, hashtag it with uh, Free Fountain Pen Friday and stuff. You'll you'll find instruction on the Instagram account, Instagram account, and that is how you can win. Um, a fountain pen for yourself and interestingly or funnily enough, um, funny enough, um, on this Friday today as I do this pen review here and I got this pen from Applebone Pen and um, they give away exactly this pen, uh, probably another nib size, this here is a medium um, uh, on their account. So um, yeah, funny coincidence that just on that day that I um, reviewed a pen that I got from Applebone Pen and they also give exactly that pen away and uh, not the one I have here but another one of course um, as part of the free fountain pen Friday hashtags hashtag so if you want to win such a pen for yourself that's your chance to check it out and watch a review on my page at the very same time what a coincidence um, anyway um, I'll walk you through the so th this is going to be a review of, of, of that pen here that I got from them and uh, of course I already inked it up I just repackaged it again so that you can see what the pen will look like uh, when you get it. So it comes in this uh, cardboard um, wrapper here uh, that has the, the Twisby logo on top of it. And then on the side, you will find um, a sticker that I've already, of course, uh, teared since I've been using that pen for like, I think three weeks now or two weeks now. Uh, so it's the Twisby Echo with a medium nib. Um, so once you open, um, that box, you'll find a nice plastic box here. It actually looks pretty similar than some pen boxes that you can uh, buy in Muji stores or Muji online. So um, this is a really neat thing. This is a really nice box. Of course, it has the Twisby logo, logo on it, which uh, Muji box would not have on it. Um, but it's actually a really nice thing because um, uh, I will use that box here as a pencil case. Um, we'll just remove the sticker here and um, use it as a pencil case. It's, it's a really nice box. Um, so when you open the box, um, so you see at the end, it's just gonna have the, the Twisby logo on top of it and uh, saying Twisby here. So it's, it's a nice pencil box. So once you open the box, there was a, there was a small sticker here um, saying that you shouldn't uh, use alcohol um, solutions to clean that fountain pen. So um, there is very economically eco for economic maybe. I mean like the pen itself is economic. I mean like it's, it costs 35 euro and 35 euro it's a piston filler as you will see in a minute. Um, so uh, it's, it's safe to say that this is the most inexpensive quality piston filler that is available on the fountain pen market. I mean, there are piston fillers available that are cheaper. Uh, for example, the FBR ones, fountain pen revolution ones. But then again, there is a massive uh, quality difference between the Twispies and the uh, fountain pen revolution ones that you can get for around $10 or something like that. Um, so um, very economically to like really make the economical or ecological rather ecological and economical to make the, uh, the 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 instruction manual and all that part of the packaging here so it's the user manual um what you see here is the fountain pen that i've already inked up and i'll talk about the pen in a minute and then because you can fully disassemble the pen however you should only do that if you know what you're doing and there's instructions about that here but then again you should still know what you're doing in in a way um so you can fully disassemble the pen and in order to fully disassemble the pen you get the tools that are uh, that you need uh, to do that which is this wrench here um, and it shows here how to use it by the way this wrench also does fit on uh, the piston turning knobs of pelican fountain pen so you can use the twisty wrench uh, to also disassemble a pelican fountain pen uh, Nice, nice to know. Um, then there's a little bit of silicone grease here um, that you need to, uh, yeah, grease the the piston, uh, the piston again, and 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 all that once you disassemble the pen and put it back together again. Uh, 
And you can of course also just use that if you wanna uh, eyedropper convert other pens and you need a little bit of silicon grease, you buy, <laughs> you already get one here with uh, and with the Twispy and like it shows you here like where to apply the silicon grease and, and, and all that. And uh, so you see here how to fill the, the piston, you just unscrew the piston, that it goes up, submerge, nip and feed, screw the piston back in and the pen will suck up ink. Right, and yeah, once you once you remove that, um, as said, you have a really neat, sweet little um, pencil case. Um, so what you also get is a, another instruction manual that shows you how to fill and then wipe off excess ink. And then once you've disassembled the pen here, um, I mean, nip and feed are friction fit, so you can just pull them out. That's actually the only disassembly that you really need to do in order to clean it properly. You just friction fit, um, the friction fit nib and feed, you pull them out and that's how you can clean the pen then. Right, so that's that. So let's have a look at the pen itself. Um, um, so that here is the rather new clear version of the pen and uh, uh, that is also available with, in white. So cap and piston turning knob are white or res black respectively. That here is the fairly new um, all clear version. Um, so the pen itself looks as the other Twispy Echoes. Uh, it has a a clear hexagonal hexagonal cap here. Um, a nice clip with a cutout. The clip is pretty tight. It's springy, but it's pretty tight. But you can is super usable. You can really use that very well to attach the pen in 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 your shirt pocket into your shirt pocket or something like that. Um, it has that Twisby logo here uh, uh, on on top of the finial, a little a cutout uh, or a little gap here. Um, um, it, the finial is flat. Um, the cap is 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 mostly see through, uh, apart from this small inner cap here, which of course is also see, see through, but it's not totally transparent. It's a little bit like it's slightly milky. Um, and then you have a band here around the cap uh, and that band says uh, Echo Taiwan. It reflects a little bit here and on the other side it says Twispy. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot some, 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 some uh, product pictures of the fountain pen that accompany the blog post. So I, I hope you can, you will be able to see that uh, better on the on those pictures. So, I mean, of course, it's a demonstrator pen. You can see all the inner workings here. Um, this pen here is inked with uh, with a Pelican Ember, which is really nice. I mean, like the nice thing is like that, no matter with which um, ink you ink that pen or fill that, that pen, sorry, um, you will always sort of have a, a different pen. Like if you ink that with blue ink or red ink or brown ink or whatever, it, 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 it looks different, of course. And then you see a little bit of ink here on the nib that came through the feet here. You can see the inner workings of the feet, right? This is really, really beautiful. I like that. That's why I, why I like demonstrator pens. I really like to see all that here. You see that? Uh, you see the feet down here. The nib, um, uh, when you screw back on, the cap back on, you still see the nib. This, the, 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 this inner sealing cap here seals super tight. Like if you don't pick up the pen for a couple of days, there's no problem. As soon as you unscrew the pen and you start writing, and I'll do a writing sample in a bit, um, it, it, it writes. Then um, the body of the pen itself is, is it's not tapered. The only tapering that you have here is at the section which is a comfortably sized section. It's very comfortable, pleasant to hold. It's, it's plastic, it's not, it's not slippery, even after longer writing sessions, no problem. It's a fairly large pen. I do some, some size comparisons later on. It lays very, very comfortable in the hand. It has, uh, as said, no tapering. It's just a cylindrical, cylindrical shaped uh, barrel. You see the piston in here. So if I would turn the piston knob here, the piston would move up and down, which I'm not doing right now because it's, it's inked. And then um, at the end of the cap, uh, at, at the end of the pen, the piston turning knob is also hexagonal, the same uh, shape as um, the cap. So it sort of like uh, reflects the cap back here. And uh, you see another O-ring here at the, uh, at the end of the pen and that O-ring is used in order to post it, if you would like to post it. You heard that click. So, and uh, of course, when you turn here, the piston turning knob will not uh, will not turn as well. So, but you can use that too, you see, right? 
align the cap um, a little bit, but uh, as you can see, I already I have far, fairly large hands and uh, there's no need to post that pen because it becomes really long now, but it doesn't become top heavy because it's plastic, it's very, very lightweight, so it doesn't become top heavy, so you can really use it like that. There's no problem, but I prefer to write it unposted. Um, um, then uh, at the end, uh, we can have a, a look at the nib. Uh, it's a steel nib. I got the medium nib here. You can see that a bit here, but it sort of disappears here in the in the in the nib collar. Uh, it also says Twisby has the Twisby logo on it. And uh, I mean, however, it's a Taiwanese company, but what's good to know when you order pens, I mean, uh, Asian Asian pens uh, are normally like the nib sizes run a bit finer. So if you have a pilot and you order a fine, it's more like a Western extra fine, but those here are Western nibs. So um, that medium nib uh, will be pretty much comparable to a Lamy medium nib or any other Western medium nib. So when you order those pens or you consider of getting one of the Twispies, uh, pens um, be aware that they are like um, those, those, those are Western nib sizes um, uh, so um, I do have a, a, a white uh, the, the echo in white here as well and when you compare um, the, the the clear and the white one you see that they are exactly the same pens just different colors now the only thing that twist be changed um, is uh, is that center band here uh, which is like flat on the older m model and it's uh, a little bit rounded. You can see that here, right? It's a little bit rounded on the newer model. So I believe this is like the same center band that you also have on the, what are they called, VAC minis or whatever, like those those mini twisties. Um, so that here is flat and uh, that here is slightly, slightly rounded. I hope you can see that here. So that's the only difference. Um, uh, and then, uh, of course, also like the, the clear inner cap. And, and, and I really like that, um, that they that did that because I have an, uh, an older 580 clear here. And what I always disliked a little bit uh, when it comes to looks is that the inner cap of the 580 clear, which is also a demonstrator, is like grayish. And uh, I don't know, I mean, like you can also see the nib inside here and all that, that ceiling cap, but I always thought that that gray inner cap, I mean, it's all right, but it looks slightly odd. Um, I like that, um, I like that clear inner cap here a lot better. And of course you can also see the nib and everything through, um, through that cap, which I find really neat. Um, so um, maybe, um, as I said, it's a slightly larger pen. I mean, like size comparison to the to the Diamond 580. There's almost there is almost no difference. I mean, like they are pretty much exactly the same size. And I'll throw in a Lamy Safari um, as another size comparison benchmark, which also is pretty much exactly the same size. So um, it is pretty safe to say that if you are comfortable to write um, with, if a Lamy Safari is a comfortable size for you to write with, uh, it is pretty safe to say that um, you are also going to be very much okay with the, uh, with the Twispy Echo. So all those three pens, they are roughly the same size. I mean, there's difference of a couple of millimeters, uh, but I think it is not really a significant uh, difference. So um, for the end of the review, I wanted to do a quick writing sample. And for that, I'm going to use this, my happiness uh, logbook here that I got from Constellations 88, um, because it has pretty nice um, fountain pen friendly paper. So I'll zoom in for that a little bit. I mean, I can already say uh, that Eco or Echo is really, really a pleasant writing experience. This is a medium nib. This nib is buttery, not buttery smooth, but glassy smooth. It's not a very soft writing experience, but it's a very smooth writing experience. This nib gives you a little bit feedback because it's a steel nib, or not even a little bit. It gives you quite a lot of feedback. It's a steel nib, um, but as said, it is a, 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 a glassy smooth writing experience. Um, so let's go with uh, Twisby, <laughs> sorry, Echo, 
um, medium nib, very, very smooth as said, really, really, really nice, um, really nice performance. Um, that was my angling of the pen right now, that was not the pen's fault. The nib performs really, really well. There is not much line variation that you can squeeze out of that nib here. A little bit, but then it starts to railroad for some reason. I don't know why, but then again, it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a steel nib and uh, it's probably not supposed to give you a uh, line variation. I mean, do you see the shading of uh, Pelican Ember is just stunning. I love that ink. That's not... That's not a topic of the review, but I, I really do love that ink. Anyway, um, so the Echo really a nice, uh, a nice, a nice, um, uh, a nice writer. And uh, yeah, you can win that today at uh, the hashtag, what is it called? Free Fountain Pen Friday, I believe. Uh, thanks to Applebone Pennon for very fast shipping and secure packing of that pen. Um, I hope the review of that Twisby Eco was helpful to you and um, I'll see you at my next fountain pen review. Bye!